Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is based off of the program called Boot UI Tuner. Um, it's going to give you a plenty of options and the options will be able to allow you to enable advanced options in the boot menu such as options in safe mode, debugging, so on, and they'll be available before every boot on your Windows 8. It doesn't require a startup to be put into the startup. Also, it enables editing boot options that allows you to specify an addition options for the kernel. For instance, uh, if you want to go ahead and boot into this operating system or whatnot you can you can disable the windows logo you can also disable the spinning circle during boot but i would actually always advise that to be on because just in case your computer is acting up you'll know that it's still loading you can also disable text messages during boot messages like please wait or we're getting your computer started and also you can disable the whole modern boot ui and turn it into a legacy boot as you want here's how it works so all you have to do is just select the one that you want for instance if i were to select that and press apply if I were to go onto my desktop and press Alt F4, I'll just restart my computer and then press OK. And once that comes up, I'll be given an option to either select either one, either by pressing F9 through F1 through F9 or 1 through 9. Um, if I wanted to, I can go into safe mode by pressing the number key 5, and I'll do that right now. But if I wanted to go and continue on my operating system, all I have to do on my keyboard is press enter. But I'll press 5 for right now, just to show you. And just so you guys know, this is available for Windows 8 32-bit, which is 86 architecture, and Windows 64-bit architecture. So inside here, all you have to see is that you're in safe mode. As you can see, all the corners right here indicate that we are in safe mode, and it gives you a Windows help and support dialog box. Um, I'll go ahead and close that. But as you can see, I am safe mode. I didn't have to do any other type of you know setting or whatnot. I am actually inside it, and if I wanted to, I can just Disable all of that by pressing restart and turning it off through the program after restarting it and getting into the program. So I will go and continue to the operating system by pressing enter. Um, also you can press F10 for more options. I'm not quite sure what those do, but if you wanted to check them out for experimental reasons, you can. Um, so back onto the desktop, all I have to do is just start the program again. And if I don't want this program to start and go to the boot options, all I have to do is just press default or uncheck the last one that I don't want. So if you guys like this program, use it to your convenience. This is more advisable for the techies that want to go in and get into their customers computers and do some uh, diagnostic work but this program is perfect i'm sure there'll be updates and until next time see you later guys all right bye